Now, the availability of plants used as raw materials for herbal medicine production is declining with producers warning that this is disrupting their operations. Herbal medicine manufacturers attribute the scarcity of certain key medicinal plants to the destruction of forest reserves where these plants are found due to illegal mining activities. The situation is driving up production costs and manufacturers say they may not have any choice than to pass these costs on to consumers. Channel 1 News' Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafiz Tijani reports. Herbal medicine has seen a significant rise in popularity and acceptance among Ghanaians in recent times. In addition to conventional medicines, many people tend to herbal remedies for treating various health issues. However, recently herbal medicine producers have been struggling to source key raw materials, especially plants essential for their production. Ebenezer Ajiman founder and CEO of Ebenage Herbal Production and Consult calls the situation a public health concern. If it's truly herbal medicine, then we are talking about natural medicine. So when the natural environment is affected, there's this, it's more like proportional to our activities. So uh, we are really affected. And I can add that uh, some of our plants are going extinct and some are suffering from contamination because this same uh, soil that is being degraded uh, and even our water bodies there's an uptick of nutrients which of course uh, nutrient will consist of water and uh, some of our plants are suffering just as food are also suff suffering like products that we even use in our homes, they are being contaminated. So it's a general issue that uh, I consider it a public health issue. This scarcity of major plants used in herbal medicine production is a widespread issue across the industry. Inside the forest, there is a galamsey activity there. When you come to the secondary forest, the same thing. Some of the herbs cannot even be found in the system now. You have to import them. It makes our business become very expensive. And as I said earlier on, there's no money in the system. And when the medicine becomes very expensive, they can't afford it. And uh, herbal medicine is, has come to stay. Dr. Isa Nyamiche, CEO of African Champion Herbal Clinic, also expresses concern over water pollution caused by illegal mining, which is negatively impacting production. Most of us, we are getting our source of water from boreholes. And could you believe this water that comes in, sometimes you will find out that it's very fruity, very bad. So when it passes through the filters, you have to change them every week, every two weeks. At first, one filter can last maybe a, a three months. But now, every week, if you need a genuine filtered water to, boil, to do your activities, you need to change the filter and it's costing us a lot. The Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana recently warned that the country may be forced to import water to support local pharmaceutical manufacturing if the illegal mining issue is not urgently addressed. This concern echoes across the herbal medicine industry where rising production costs are becoming unsustainable. If someone travels a longer distance or even outside the country to purchase ordinary raw materials, it will come back to the consumer to also pay that price and it affects the economy in general. You have to go far to get deep, deep, deep into the forest to get your raw material. So the more you travel far, the higher the cost. So when you come back, definitely you have to factor all these things in. These increased costs will inevitably be passed on to customers who shop at herbal medicine retail outlets. In this market, Customers have expressed frustration over the rising prices of the herbal medicines they buy. It's now the, the miners have not entered into our, our reserve well, forest that the, 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 I mean, I mean, the, the herbalists get their products from. So, like, they have to increase the price. They have no option. I mean, the price has gone up. 
more than 60 percent. But when you ask them, they will tell you that because of the cost of the material, the cost of the material also risen up. So you can't get it like before. Comparatively, the price is too dear. Because you have, let's say, 50 cities, you can't buy two drugs. This is the first thing, they're not pricing them, but you see how they're pricing them, a page across. Oh, so I'm more able to, I'm more able to, because, oh, and I'm not able to, I'm not able to, I'm not able to, I'm not able to, I'm not able to. Customers also condemn the illegal mining activities and call for swift action to address the problem. You can say it's... The, the illegal mining has affected everything. You know, the water bodies has been destroyed. Cost of living is not high. Because, the, the, I mean, if, if, you, if you go to those villages to bring the food item, the price you get it there is even higher than what they sell at Kumasi. So I think there should be total either banned or temporary hot of all illegal Mining. It's a worry because I don't think right now the raw material will be original like before. Because of the chemicals they use, I we know, but they can't help it. You can't get any the real one, the original ones as before from anywhere. So they are also just managing. For many, the concern goes beyond the rising cost. There is also worry about the long-term impact of illegal mining. On the herbal medicine industry. The producers of these herbal medicines say the illegal mining activity is affecting the cost of production and they have no option than to pass on the cost to consumers who come to buy at retail shops like this one. Hafiz Tijani, Channel One News, Kumase, Ashanti Region.